Hey guys, it is day 10. How are you feeling so far? Um, this is 30 days that is pushing you. This is a boot camp. It's a push. And um, I wanted to talk to you guys today about it's not a race against anyone else. You are in competition with no one else except yourself. And I think it's really important for you guys to know that you can only work on your schedule. You can only work at your own pace. And everybody is at a different stage in their life. Everybody is at a different point. They have different things going on. So not everyone is has the same amount of time as the other person. Not everyone has a supportive spouse. Not everyone has gotten it yet. So I think it's really important for you guys to know that this group is to teach you the basics of coaching. You're going to go at your own pace. Okay, there's no one saying that you have to do X, Y, and Z by today. To me, I feel like as long as you're hitting your goals and your activity goals, whether you are getting in, you know, 10 follow-ups today and none tomorrow and then another 10 the following day, that's okay because all you can do is your very best. And it doesn't matter what the person next to you is doing or the person in front of you or the person behind you. All that matters is what is working for you. And you are the CEO of your own company. So don't worry about what other people are doing. You know, put your blinders on and focus on you. Focus on your personal fitness goals and getting those results. Focus on your personal activity and focus on having fun and making sure that this business is enjoyable because it only becomes a job when we make it unfun, when we feel like, oh, I have to do this. No, you get to do this. You get to work from home. You get to create your own schedule. You get to help people. You get to impact people's lives and you're going to get paid enormously, both emotionally, physically, and of course, financially. So when you have days where you feel like, oh man, this person at Success Club or this person went emerald or this person went diamond and they signed up after me, so what? This is about you. It's about your life. It's about working with your schedule. It's about working with what works for you, not about anyone else, not about any of that stuff. So I just want to encourage you guys to think about that. And make sure that you are not getting stressed, okay? Because we don't want you to be stressed out. We want you to be having fun. We want you to enjoy what you're doing. And if you're getting stressed, it, take a second to just think about, what am I really so stressed out about? You know, why is this not fun anymore? And take it back to why it is fun. And remember the things that you enjoy about this business. And focus on that. Um, I just want to add one more thing is to just work with the willing, okay? So you're going to have a lot of people that you're talking to, hopefully. That's the goal. You don't want to get hung up on the same three people that you're talking to for six months and you're not talking to any more people. So work with the willing. If, if someone isn't really interested, if you're not getting a good vibe from them, move on to the next person. Um, same thing as you start to recruit coaches, and some of you guys have and some of you haven't, and that's fine. You're gonna work with the willing. You're gonna know who wants this and who doesn't, and that is where your energy goes. That's where your focus goes. And for the person that signs up and they're not really interested, they're not really serious, that's okay. You're still there for them, but they're not getting all of your energy. Same thing with your prospects. If you have someone that, you know, oh, that you feel like you have to convince them, you're not in the convincing business. You're not looking for someone that's going to drag you down, someone that you have to pull the entire way. You're looking for somebody that knows what they want, someone that's going to go out there and get it. Maybe they just need a little guidance. They need a little push. They need a little accountability, but you're looking for your business partners. And the person that's going to drag you down is not 
it. <laughs> so work with the willing and just remember some will, some won't. So what? Next, learn to love your nose, move on to the next person and put those blinders on. Focus on your personal activity, what you can control and not so much on what everyone else is doing because it starts with you. Comment below, you guys. Let me know. Does this make sense? Is this a relief? Are you stressed out? I want to hear from you. Um, share some words of wisdom below for the other people uh, in this group. We're all in this together. And let's just encourage each other and lift each other up. Day 10, you guys. Let's make it count.